maybe you should think again. Temple is an important word. Who can you? Who can you? Set up four customers from the working areas to the dumping ground. This equipment is classified into C main board. These are first one is rear end bumper. Second one is side dump load trap. Third one is bottom dump dumper. end bumper and this one is bottom dump bumper the rear end dump bumper in this type the main body which accepts the material from the shovel is placed at the rear end of the operator's cabin and discharge the mainly through the rear portion of the equipment discharge this is the material through the rear portion of the equipment. Here, the rear end body is tilted to the tilted on the rear side by means of telescopic type hydraulic jack. The upper end of which are fitted to the bottom of the main body, while the lower end are attached to the chassis of the equipment. The rear end body returned to its original position after discharging the material or Retracting the telescopic jet. A rear end dumper is capable of handling free flowing material like earth, sand, gravel, and more bulky material such as bluster, uh, blasted rock, coal, ore, etc. <coughs> the next one is, is side dump load truck. Generally, the equipments are, are used to deliver material over the drive tire. Stability of the equipment is very important during discharging. Hence, tandem axle or six wheel type truck are generally used. And integral host as, uh, is a special requirement, side dump body are used in very steep and can discharge material on the flywheel fly whereas the rear dump equipment must stop while discharging material. Third one is bottom dump dump bumper. So third type of dumper is bottom dump dumper. The bottom dump dumper consists of a disc power Dice, dice power prime mover fitted with a large trailer at its rear end mounted on two large wheels. The trailer unit has drop button or console type door. These doors are actuated by a rope pulley arrangement added by a double acting single hydraulic cylinder. This type of dumper are used to handle relatively free floating material as large uh, larger pieces of stone or rock may jump in the smaller bottoms. Now next is this rear end bumper further group into a rear end tractor trailer and rear end truck type dumper. In, in the rear end tractor del trailer, a trailer body mounted on two wheels is usually attached at the rear end, rear side of the tractor. This pulls the trailer body from the loading point to the discharging point and vice versa. The load is discharged either by tilting the body with the help of hydraulic jack or manual. In the truck type dumper, the loading cage or body is mounted on the rear end truck chassis. The loading cage 
can be tilted by means of two hydraulic jacks. The other of the, of the various make of damper are pull pack, haul pack and terex are commonly used for project work in India. Haul pack. Haul pack. Wapco. W A B C O. Wapco conduction and mining equipment. Wapco conduction and mining equipment USA manufactured this model. In India, it is manufactured by or Bharat Earth Movers Limited B E M L Bangalore in collaboration with Wapco. The range in which the product is available is as shown in the follows. Uh, according to capacity and engine day for 25 ton that is 310 horsepower for 35 tons 380 each horsepower for 50 tons 635 horsepower so, and in this way uh, 170 tons for 170 tons uh, 1600 horsepower is equal all the model in this range use a diesel engine as a prime mover in 120 ton and 170 ton capacity damper power transferred to the driving wheel take place by electrical means motorized wheel are provided for this purpose the engine and the whole body is mounted on the chassis by means of the suspension cylinder system there are four such cylinder two at the front and two at the rear end. These cylinders are usually fitted with nitrogen gas along with some oil for better sealing of the cylinder. The vehicle is provided with two telescopic type hydraulic jack in order to till the dump body. They are provided with a service brake, an emergency brake and a parking brake. The steering mechanism is powered by a hydraulic system. It has a central pumping system which supply hydraulic oil to the steering body system and the other system. The next is Terex. Terex Equipment Limited UK manufactures this model in India Hindustan Motors Limited in collaboration with Terex Equipment Limited manufactures this type of dump. The usual Product range are 25 ton, 28 tons, 35 tons, and 50 tons. Like other dumpers, they also used a diesel engine as a prime mover. Earlier model had semi ellipse, <laughs> sorry, semi elliptical leaf spring as the suspension unit, which are now gradually being replaced by a cylinder suspension arrangement. The body is tilted by two telescopic type hydraulic jack. These jacks are placed within the enclosure of the chassis. Hence, they cannot be seen from the side when the body rests of the chassis. System much such as steering and braking are very similar to that of the hall pack model. Now comes the general construction. Comes to the general construction of the damper of the cylinder or damper. The chassis, which includes frame, suspension system, wheels and tire. This is the number one. Number two is body assembly, and number three is power trim that is the engine clutch the transmission drive set and the differential so let's start with the chassis the usual shape of the chassis showing in this figure the length of the channel section and other dimensions the number of bracket members and their profile depends on individual design. They are made of special alloy steel 
with integral front dumper. The whole design is that of a modified box section. Next is suspension system. Basically, two types of suspension are used in here. First one is semi elliptical leaf spring, and next one is suspension cylinder system. Semi elliptical leaf spring, spring in the form of thin leaves are placed on the one on top of another and are bolted by means of U bolt. One end of the spring is rigidly connected to the chassis by means of a cycle pin. During deflection, the spring extends towards the cycle pin side, whereby adjustment of load and deflection are made. These are mostly used in 25 tons TEDx model damper. They are also used in the truck type damper. Those are manufactured by Telco and also Lele. The next is suspension cylinder <coughs> spring. This is composed of two basic parts. A stationary cylinder is secured to a dumper frame or chassis either at the top or at the side and a pinion is attached to the spindle which is connected to wheel mounting. The piston plays inside the cylinder which divides the cylinder into two parts. The chamber above the piston head chamber the chamber above the piston head is the upper chamber which contain a layer of oil for lubrication as well as to maintain a gas tight sealing of the piston head. The rest of the chamber is filled filled, filled with dry nitrogen gas. The lower chamber contains are only at nearly atmospheric condition. These pistons used in a hollow one and contain a specified amount of oil. As the load comes on the dumper, the piston tends to move upward. The compressed nitrogen gas forces oil from the piston top through drill holes in the piston wall and out of out to the lower or outer chamber surrounding the piston. When the piston moves downwards due to withdrawal or discharging of material, oil in the outer chamber, oil in the outer chamber is drawn back to the top of the piston. Compressed nitrogen prevent extreme downward movement. Cylinders are used both in front as well as rear side of the dumper. In the front wheel, they also serve the purpose of a kingpin for a wheel during steering. Here in the table, the dumper size, road extension for oiling, rod extension for nitrogen charging, charging pressure and remarks are there. For the front, dumper size is 35 tons or 25 tons. Rod extension for oiling is for both is 9 cm. Rod extension for nitrogen charging for both is 20 cm. Charging pressure for 35 tons is 29 kg per cm square and for 25 tons it is 15 kg per cm square. And for the rear portion, uh, if the first size is the number size is 35 and 25 tons. The rod, ex the rod extension for oiling is 9 cm for both. The rod extension for nitrogen charging is 20 cm for both. But the charging pressure for 35 is 11 kg per cm square. And for 25 tons, it is 9 kg per cm square. So, student. From here, from up to this, we are learning about the different types of dumper and uh, dumper making company and general construction. And inside the construction, we can understand about the chassis and the suspension system.